Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Red Root Gaming. So we're back here once again in Satisfactory. So, last episode, um, well actually there was a mix-up as to what the last episode was, but the last episode we, uh, that we recorded, we, uh, fixed up the, uh, iron system. The conveyors that run up and across the middle of our, uh, Bay, current base here. I don't really know what to call it, but what will become Iron Land um, is what we we got built, or what we did. Um, the episode before was going to hurt. That was dumb. Um, we built the copper production area, which is just over here. I believe we need to go over and... Oh, we're going to have to go over. <clears throat> but we built the the copper production and the cable production. We're actually going to grab about 2,000 copper right now. Grab about 100 of those. Now, because what we're going to do first is we're going to throw the things into, hopefully we've got enough, uh, coal research. Tier 3 coal research. Ooh, we're missing the rotors. Actually, we have all the parts to make the rotors. <clears throat> okay, well, there goes the script, because what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of reconfiguring of our production zoom. So, um, in order to build... <coughs> get 15 per minute, and you kick out 15 per minute. You get... You need 30 per minute to kick out 15 per minute, and the belts do um, logistics belts. The belts do 60 per minute. How many do, uh, that was the wrong way around. How many do the uh, furnaces do? I'm gonna say it's about one per minute. That was not what I was after. You keep backing up. Oh my goodness. I'm having no luck today. You give us about 30 per minute output. Theoretically, if I was to take all of the steel that is currently inside of this guy, it should stop backing up. No, because that's actually half of a... No, it'll keep backing up because you need to be split between two. Okay, well... <laughs> we're going to reconfigure all of this production. Okay. <clears throat> so, you're actually going to start making that and make that. Well, that was a waste. Um, you're also going to make that. Your vertical conveyor, that's fine. So, three from there to there. That's three making that. Now what I want to do is remember, you grab ourselves a constructor. Now, if memory serves, we're not actually taking all of the iron ingots out of this building. We're not taking anywhere near all of the iron ingots out of this building. We are, however, taking four. Three. We're taking three. Fourth one just goes over there and ends. Uh, so we're going to whack a number five and put a few more onto here. 
memory serving me today. Should be the top of what we already have. No, one more. Correct. So now what I need, Q, not tab. I'll get there. Uh, we're going to grab conveyor lifts. We'll grab the number threes and whack them on there. It's a little down. Doesn't matter. It gets it onto here. And then we'll take him over there. No. I'm just trying to be stuck, aren't I? Ow. <laughs> okay. So. Pole, power pole, ripping out all the power poles. Do I have that I can throw? I have you. My goodness. Okay. Now, what do we got? So we currently have three going into these three here, which makes that one resource. And then I've got to make six. Make screws. Maybe we should have all of this making screws and put the... the... Okay. This clearly needs a lot more working on. You're as close as you go, you're not. You know or not, and you're not. Really? Okay, I need to go for a run to the copper. Okay, bye bye, you two. Just start from scratch. So. The thing, the thing is bad.
That should be four. That's two, and this will be the third. Set. Awesome. Now we grab our walls. You should line up reasonably well with the middle of that. <coughs> you don't get one. You get one. It's unfortunate, but... So, then we grab... Gonna grab our logistics splitter. Whack them in about there. On all three of these lines. in a power pole. Right there on each of them. And wire them up. Downski. So that's all those. So these are all going to make iron rods. Okay, iron rod production. Check. You feed that. So they should be coming through any second now. Okay, there's our rod production. Can I not go past you anymore? I cannot. Well, I guess why I walked around, I don't know, but I guess I'll just have to go up and over. Cool. So that's that. Um, next question production. Now, if my math and memory are correct. This is five every 15, and this needs one every four seconds. Okay, so after much, whoa, much deliberation, I'm going to change up the design just a little bit. Uh, we're going to grab, hopefully we've got enough concrete on us, foundations, we're going to make a whole heap more foundation. Because by my math, we should be able to feed six 
off the one and my math is probably wrong. So we're just going to make it a bigger building and go from there. Because we're currently making a lot of these. So yeah. Um, by my math, Gonna walk through it one more time. <laughs> Done it too many times already. So <clears throat> one rod makes sorry, one iron ingot makes one rod every makes one rod and then each rod makes there uh, and then each machine makes a rod every um makes fifteen rods every sixty seconds. We need one rod. Takes 15 rods in. That'll give us six screws or 90 per minute. So, no, you're one to one. We need 15 rods to make nine, 15 rods per minute to make. Okay, we did have the math right the first time. I'm going to whack a constructor in front of each of these. And all but the first one will be peak efficiency. Because the first one's going to get a splitter on it. Because it's going to go to storage. I did all of these backwards, damn it. So, as I said, you get split because one of you gets to go to storage. Boop. Oh. Now, you're gonna make screws. They're gonna make screws. They're also gonna make screws. And so on and so forth. <coughs> now, this is the part that gets a little bit tricky. <coughs> now, if memory serves, three of every for every three of these, you can feed a single. Two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so for every three of these, you can feed a single um, reinforced iron plate production thing. Which the next floor then has to supply the steel plates for. Iron plates for. I keep saying steel, I'm thinking SE again. So, what we're gonna do. We're gonna need at least a second layer on this building to be able to. <coughs> oh, build iron plate. Now this floor doesn't need quite as much of a helping hand because um, we're only going to get like three on here. Try to center it to the plate here. Build the two more because um, one, two, three, four, five. There's at least two more iron ore points that I know of close by that we can um, steal resources from, effectively. So I want walls. Oh, 
Okay. Actually, turns out you don't need to go across to there. So, you are actually smack bang on the right level. Um, you, however, are going to make iron plates. Set all these first, probably. Iron plates. Iron plates. Iron plates. And then the extra. Two. Oh. How many have I got? Two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what was happening there. Yeah, so there's two more. You can see one there and there's one over there um, that we can steal from. So next I need to... Well, A, these all need power. Put this downstairs, actually. I just want over there. Thank you. Um, logistics, vertical conveyor. Guess these right. Should be you went up a little bit, but anyway. Yep, they're correct. You're getting iron. Cool. You sir need some opening. I didn't really give these guys any power. connection you should have one connection no you don't get a connection the one at the end over here gets the remaining connection which then goes through to the next level forward cool. Woo. <laughs> power in this game can be a real mind bender We're not going to do that yet, because we need to figure out where we needed to go to. So, I'm thinking. Actually, I've got to think. We have a better way of doing it. You go there. There. You go there. How are we getting there? I say, surely it's been more than 13 minutes. It has. Um, yeah, and then we put a hole there, and we get power up to here, and then we're going to have to go down here anyway to do other things, so...
That'll bring the entire work platform back on into operation. through the opening I'm happy uh, okay and we'll put a wall there closes that off Some walls in here um, and we'll grab a number nine put it in there and I'll grab a zero This is a tricky one for me because theoretically I could have pushed them back a little bit and put a wall here and then them just drop down, but I'm gonna pull it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna fly him over. Oh! So, now for the hard part. Every three of these down the bottom can feed two of these guys. Find them. There we go, assemblers. So, we kind of want to... This is the hard part, you see. Oh no, modular frames. Oh, and the rotor parts. Okay. Well, it turns out we might actually have to keep making these by hand. I don't remember how to do this now. Um, logistics splitter. easier way doing, of doing this. Should just be able to put a merger here. This is entirely as long as I've done my math correctly. Which I'm not known for math. Has the screw at Q, and then I want a convertical conveyor, and to run all the way up these stairs. These are still a little bit clunky. Um, looks 
the roundabout right. And from you, straight into you. Oh damn, I hope that's correct. How many do you take a minute? Making reinforced plates. You need 20 of those and 120 screws. I can only feed you 60 a second in. <clears throat> that is correct. Oh, I got my screw math right. <laughs>